Morning everybody, Leah Smith from Leah Smith Bite. Now this is a topic that is very, very close to my heart. I don't know if it's from dental experiences of myself as a child, but it's about whether a general anesthetic is the best option to get your child's dental treatment completed. Now I am actually against this unless it's definite circumstances and it is seriously your last option. General anesthetics can be dangerous, especially for, especially for little kids. The other problem I find with them is then they have an experience like that as their first dental experience, which usually is linked to not so great, they're scared, they're, you know, pain afterwards, and then that's their first initial link to dentistry. So I actually prefer that if you are thinking about that, please do give them a go first in the chair. If you get a great provider who knows what they're doing, one, you're gonna give the child a much better experience than going the hospital option. Two, you're going to save yourself a heap of money. And three, you're going to start with positive dental experiences instead of negative ones. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that all my patients um, you know, come in and get in the chair and do things. And there are, once you've gone through the giving it a go a few times, sometimes there is no other option. And that is fine, that's when we look at those things. But don't just, you know, think about your past experiences and assume that is the best way because sometimes it is not. So please talk to your dental provider about it first. Don't just assume that that's what you have to do when your children are little. And it does depend on what is needed. So do see someone who obviously treats kids a lot and has experience in this as well because there is definitely a massive difference with people who don't because they will go for that option of the general anesthetic in hospital way quicker than what someone say like I would. So the point is sometimes it's not all about the parent and the easy way out. It's about giving the kids a really good start to their dental journey and making it a positive one. So like I said, sometimes this does not happen in the chair, um, but we always have those options, but you can't take that back if you go and do that first. So please talk to your dental provider um, if you're considering this, get a second opinion if that's the only option you've been given by your current dental provider, um, and really just think about your child and what's best for them because you know that better than what I would. Um, but please try them in the chair because we ultimately want to build their confidence up so they have great dental experiences for life. So if you've liked this, please like, comment, share. If you found this useful, get other people to hop on my page. Stay tuned for more dental advice. And if you need any help, please message me during this page or book an appointment via the info above. Have an awesome day and see you all again soon. Bye.